Let's let's pause the conversation there and bring in uh, Jacob Markstrom if you can. How you doing, Hi. Jacob? Good, good. How good, are you guys doing? Good, good. Well, thank you. Welcome in live. We'll bring you on and uh, bring you in. Um, congrats on the win. And uh, maybe just first, we were just talking about how much uh, you know we've been discussing one goal games. So I would imagine you know nice to get some uh, early offense like that. What did you make of just the way that this game unfolded here tonight? Yeah, good. Obviously, you know they played last night and we wanted to get off to a good start and. Uh, you know, we did that and got two two goals early, and you know it, it for sure helps. And I thought we played it played really good the rest of the way and and yeah. controlled the game. Anything stand out in terms of you know, obviously the two breakaway saves in the second, but you know what did you make of the group in front of you, and in particular maybe the third period? It just didn't seem like you allowed a lot there either. No, I thought we played a you know responsible game, and you know we. We got pucks deep, and we did. You know, it's a lot, a lot of cliches, but you know, yeah. th those works. Those works. So the good things. Uh, yeah, for sure. And and I thought it was uh, it's big for our group. Obviously, Nas to get a get the fourth one to to kill the game there, and uh, and then you know we controlled it and uh, and got away with a, with a big win. We were just talking about uh, guys who a little bit off topic, but guys who are pretty good at getting shots through like that. We saw you know Nikita score his goal here tonight. Uh, you, you mentioned uh, Sidor uh, get good at getting pucks through. Is there anybody that stands out? Uh, maybe guys you've played with or anybody in the past that you know good at getting shots through the point like that and make it difficult on goaltenders? Yeah, everyone we have on our team here. Yeah, it's really <laughs> good. Know. Yeah, that's it. I got, a, I got a question for you, um, just maybe from a fan's perspective of the game, and I'm always curious as an ex-defenseman, who's the best communicator out there with you in, in, in your decor, and who are, who's the defenseman that's the easiest to exchange pucks with? Yeah, I'm not putting you on the spot, but I just... Yeah, you kind of are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, you know, if you look at tonight, I thought we did a great job, and, uh, you know, for me, too, uh, when you go out, it's, you know, I kind of have my mind up before anyone said anything but I thought you know tonight communication and it's been all year but you know Hannafin is really good he's you know always always there for you and you know Tanny's one of those guys too if I don't know anything and I know Tanny's on the ice I just kind of throw it over there to his side and he'll he'll deal with my problems but uh, you know we're uh, we're we're pretty good at, at talking and makes it a lot easier and you know when we can break out clean instead of, you know, RD getting hit and, and their forecheck getting started, uh, you know, that's huge for our game. Yeah, and I thought the guys in front of you did a great job of that tonight. They they moved the puck quickly. They were crisp. And I'm glad you threw Tanev's name, name out there. You know, being an old grinder defenseman, I always thought that was one thing that we could excel at that no yeah, one knows yeah. about. So thanks yeah, for tossing for sure. them out yeah, there. Yeah, I know. Ours. <laughs> you, you, you can pump your tires. Uh, last one for you. And that's just, uh, we talked about this win and obviously last one at home here. You got five out on the road, all in the Central Division, but just another opportunity to kind of generate some momentum and, and more importantly kind of you know as Nikita I think pointed out you know stop losing streaks or don't allow losing streaks to start um, you know just how important it is to kind of set the table for the road trip too. Yeah really important I mean uh, you know everyone knows the standing and uh, you know it's one day you're in and the next day you're yeah. out or you know wild card and it's uh, it's so tight so you know this this road trip is going to be huge for us and and we need to string string some wins together and uh, like you said too don't you know, no, no more losing streaks and, and really be crisp here in the new year. Appreciate the time. Congrats. Yeah, thank you very much. Have a good one. Great job tonight. Yeah, thanks. Jacob Markstrom, 24 saves in the win here tonight for the Calgary Flames. And obviously a big one is uh, they earn it 4-1 uh, the final here tonight. Here's a look at uh, some of the work from Jacob Markstrom and uh, talk a little bit about sort of what they allowed or didn't allow. But uh, obviously you go back to that second period and these two breakaway stops were huge. Yeah, this is, this is the game changer. And they happened within a pretty short span of time. And this is the game right here. I, I would vote it hands down. If he lets one of those in, it's a little more momentum for the Islanders. He lets two of those in while well, we're in for one tonight. And, a tie. and that was just a complete momentum killer, killer for the Islanders, and they didn't put, put up much of a push after that.